chapter is about the potential impact of free trade agreements on the evolution of the fundamental rights to intellectual property within the EU legal order. I will make reference to the EU new generation free trade agreements according to the 2018 report of the European Commission on the implementation of free trade agreements and when addressing intellectual property as a whole, I will mainly refer to copyright. So, the issue of the intellectual property is topical and peculiar at the same time. It is topical because intellectual property is meant to be extremely important due to its economic impact in terms of growth and employment and will be one of the main issues in the framework of the single digital market. It will also be a key driver for the increase of competitiveness of the European Union as a global actor. But at the same time, intellectual property is supposed to be a very controversial issue in the framework of fundamental rights, and according to many scholars, it does not fit very well within the landscape of fundamental rights. So in the first part, I will illustrate the evolution of intellectual property as a fundamental right by mainly referring to the evolution of the right to property. I will take into account, especially, Article 1, Protocol 1 of the ECHR and some important norms of national constitutions of the state in order to clarify that the right to property is a traditionally weak right and I will drive the attention to Article 17, Paragraph 2 of the Charter of Fundamental Rights. And in the second part, we'll analyze the ECJ case law concerning the fair balance between the right to property and other fundamental rights and freedom. And I will show that uh, over recent years uh, the ECJ decided to give priority to the right, uh, the fundamental right to intellectual property vis a vis other fundamental rights and freedoms. And I will explain the main aspects of some important cases such as Deckmin or uh, Coty Germany or uh, McFadden, Brenkhoff, and Bastelud. In the third part, I will explore the most important aspects of the content of free trade agreements. I will make reference to the IP chapter of those agreements. I will stress the high standards of protection of those chapters compared to the TRIPS agreement and also compared to some pieces of legislation of the European Union. Then, in the last part of the lecture, I will try to revise into the potential aspect of free trade agreements with regard to the evolution of the right to intellectual property by stressing the importance of the rank of those agreements and by stressing the importance of uh, the uh, possibility for the European Union to negotiate those chapters alone after opinion 250.